Hi there, my name is Kevin Mathis. I'm the park ranger for the Mount Vernon Police Department. Today I'll be reading you a book called If I Were a Park Ranger, right here from the top of Little Mountain. If I Were a Park Ranger by Katherine Steyer, illustrated by Patrick Corrigan, published by Albert Whitman and Company, Chicago, Illinois. Imagine serving as a park ranger for our U.S. national parks. If I were a park ranger after going to college to study wildlife biology, conservation, or education, I'd work for the National Park Service. I'd wear a special uniform, a hat, and a badge. If I were a national park ranger, I'd be part of what the historian William Stegner called America's best idea. I'd proudly continue the legacy begun by people who had a vision of preserving our country's most beautiful, historic, and unique areas. Some people hang pictures of pretty scenery on their office walls, but if I were a park ranger, I'd spend my work day in a place that was beautiful all on its own. If I were a park ranger, I might work in the mountains, in a cave, near a volcano, in the desert, or at the seashore. Maybe I'd work on a ship or at a battlefield, near the homeland of an ancient people, or at a famous national monument. If I were a park ranger, I would protect the land, the plants, the buildings, and the wild animals of my park. I'd protect animals in many ways. I'd make sure people didn't get too close to the animals or disturb their homes. I'd make sure people didn't feed them or leave garbage that might make the animals sick. Protected spaces such as parks, national seashores, national parks, national wildlife refuges serve as living outdoor research laboratories. If I were a national park ranger, I might work with scientists to study the area's animals, plants, water, or soil, or I could help with the discovery of fossils or artifacts in my park. I'd help campers, hikers, sightseers, and other visitors to learn about and enjoy my park. Did you know that the hundreds of millions of people visit national park sites each year? I might greet guests at the visitor center or lead ranger talks and walks. I'd meet people from all over the country and the world who traveled to see the treasures of the park. I'd be a storyteller. I'd learn about the natural history, the human history, and the legends of my park so I could share those tales. I'd tell a few spooky campfire stories too. I know lots about the park's landmarks, plants, and wildlife. I'd even recognize the calls, tracks, and scat of most of the animals in my park so I could answer any question, almost. I might take people on tours on foot, in a tram, kayak, canoe, or maybe I'd lead a tour on snowshoes, or by flashlight, even by candlelight. Lots of different knowledge and interests could come in handy. I might dress up in old-fashioned clothes and portray someone from another time. If I were a park ranger, I'd always be on the lookout for fires or threatening weather. If I spotted trouble, I'd use my two-way radio to report it to the emergency dispatcher. Then the other rangers and I would use our training and experience to keep everyone and everything as safe as possible. But sometimes things still go wrong. Then I might be part of a search and rescue team that saves someone who's lost or in danger. If I were a park ranger, I'd probably spend time outside, maybe lots of time outside, in all kinds of different weather, but park rangers work inside too. Some use computers to design exhibits, make maps, write articles, and keep track of endangered animal populations. Others update park websites with information and alerts about other issues. If I were a national park ranger, I might leave my park to visit classrooms. I'd talk with students about the wonders of my workplace, because our national parks belong to them too. If I were a park ranger, my park would be cleaner and safer because of me. The animals living there would be stronger and healthier too. And maybe, because of all I did, some visitors to my park would experience something astonishing. A moment, a single moment that could happen nowhere else in the world. A moment they'd remember forever. Then, like me, they'd want to take care of these very special places too. So yeah, I think someday I just might want to be a park ranger.